Hi, I'm Matt Gordon here at 1092 Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I'm joined by my friend Ben Kirsch, an active session player and guitar player here in Nashville. And Ben's going to talk to us today about the Fender Stratocaster. Ben, can you tell me a little bit about this guitar? When, when do you reach for it in the, in the work that we've done or if you're out on the road? Sure, sure. Um, I reached for this guitar, um, uh, we, we said in a previous segment, we talked about the Telecaster and how that's my, my first go-to guitar for, um, for basic tracking and rhythm guitars. I'll reach for this guitar second. Um, it's got a thicker sound, it's got a rounder sound, it's got a little bit more aggressive sound. Um, we can talk about why that is in my pickup selection. Um, but it's something that uh, for signature parts, for lead parts, it's going to stick out in the mix really well. It's going to be real thick. So on that note, the reason that this isn't your go-to on a basic track is because it's so thick that it doesn't leave you a lot of room for other parts to go over top of that. Is that right? Right. It'd be like it'd be like working backwards if track with this down first because it takes up so much room sonically um, that if I were to do this and then lay something down for the telly, the telly is not going to stick out as much as I'd like it to. Right. Can you play a little bit for us right now? Sure. Sure. I've got this on the bridge pickup here, which I've uh, I've replaced the standard single coil with a mini humbucker. Now that's a a common thing in Nashville session players, quickly, isn't it? That they would replace that bridge pickup. It is, um, just because uh, the humbucker and the Strat. It's already a crazy versatile guitar, but it it adds that thickness of a uh, maybe a Les Paul or a or a Duesenberg or something that traditionally has two humbuckers. So you can get that sound while retaining your options for a more traditional Strat sound I see. Okay. on the same guitar. So let me hear a little bit how you would normally use it. Sure. I, I use it for a lot of lead parts, a lot of, a lot of single note things like... Things like that, things that might go over a rhythm part that might sound like... Uh, things that would go over something like that um, that's going to stick out and be real thick um, as opposed to something, if I were to play this, if I were to play something like that on a Telecaster, it might get lost. Right. It's a much different sound coming from the, the Strat. Right. So uh, as opposed to the Telecaster, you have two tone knobs on a Stratocaster. Right, right. Can you tell me how, how they're typically used um, or how you would use them in a recording session? Well, I usually leave my tone wide open. Again, I want I want the most out of the guitar that I can possibly get. Because um, once you start rolling the tone off, I can give you an example. Just if I roll this tone off here, here's a, here's a chord with the tone all the way up, which is how you normally use it. Which is how I normally use it. I start rolling the tone back, and it gets a little more muffled, a little more muffled. And it's great if I want to do it. Stuff like that, um, like more of a more of a jazzy Chicago uh, blues. Yeah, somewhere in there. But most of the time on the sessions that I do, um, especially in Nashville with the prevalence of rock and country that's going on, um, I want as much aggression out of my guitar as I can get. I right. want that treble and the brightness, you know. So can you tell me how then you would use your pickup pattern? Sure, sure. Um, so right now I've got it set just on the bridge pickup. Uh, we talked about. <laughs> How that's a humbucker and it's got that real thick sound. Um, I've got this wired actually, so if I go here, which is uh, position number two, it should be these two pickups, but it actually splits this pickup um, into and again, a And that's point. an aftermarket. Right, that's an aftermarket thing. Um, I don't use it much, it's really thin. Um, I might use it in effect and in intro, like. Before I switch on to a fuller sound, um, once uh, the band kicks in. Right. Um, the middle position here is this pickup here. Um, again, I don't I don't use it much on its own. Um, it sounds kind of quacky. Um, where I use this pickup is in combination with um, the neck pickup here. I love this position. It's a uh, it's a little bit out of phase. It sounds great. Um, more of a bluesy, soulful type of sound. Right, and I've heard you use that a lot on the session, so we've done, I love that. It's a, that, it's a great style. sound. And then there's, of course, just the neck pickup, which is that, um, that nice, round, Eric Johnson, stratty sound. You know? 
So what is the style or what is the pickup pattern or the, the kind of tone that someone like John Mayer would use who is always on the Stratocaster or an Eric Clapton? Um, John Mayer, um, both, both John Mayer and Eric Clapton, I've seen them a lot use this uh, uh, neck and um, middle pickup combination. Which is the one that you like to use for blues as well. Right, it's, it's real common for, for that softer blues, like, um, like on something like Gravity, um, right. of John Mayer. Um, but I mean, and Clapton will use like a bridge position as well, especially on the, if you go back and... Like the, the old Layla stuff, right? right? They use a more of aggressive tone on that. Um, it really depends on the tune, you know. I've I've seen I've seen John Mayer live twice, and he's he's amazing. And um, I've seen him use a lot of bridge pickup stuff, and I've seen him use a lot of neck pickup stuff. And it really depends on the song. Right. Um, you got that slow dancing in a burning room sound, which is definitely your neck pickup. It's uh, got that real round, um, fat tone. Very cool. Can you briefly tell me the difference between the Stratocaster? Um, and something like a Les Paul? Sure. Um, I think it strikes a little more versatile than a Les Paul. Uh, first of all, obviously, if you get three pickups instead of two, um, there are Les Pauls with three pickups, but um, the way more common is a two humbucker configuration. Uh, this particular strat, um, like, uh, I've got a, a mini humbucker in the bridge, like we talked about earlier, and then I've got these two single coils, and they, they offer a really wide variety of tones that I can use. Um, now, Les Paul is thicker, it's got two of the humbuckers, so even in its neck position, it's it's got some bite and some growl, and it's uh, it's real warm and fat as well. Right. So it's it's just a the Les Paul is a really large sounding instrument. Very cool. Well, Ben, thank you so much for coming in today. Of course. Make sure that you check out Ben Kirsch on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and hire him for your projects as I do mine here at Ten Ninety Two Studios. Thank you for watching. Please find us at 1092studios.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and please watch more of our YouTube tutorials. Thanks again.